Hello everyone, this is Sohit and you are watching College Level Physics. Today I am going to show you some important result of coin tossing or you can use it in a 1D random work. So all we know is that if we toss a coin, an unbiased coin, a thousand times, we will get 50-50 uh, chance of head or tail. That means if we toss a coin, thousand times we may get or nearly in the value 500 for heads and 500 for tails um, so keeping that in mind i am going to show you a program for different results of the coin tossing so let's get started now first we have to import the numpy module as np let's say import numpy as np then i am going to define a function which will be useful in the later uh, case so just define a function say coin flip as a variable say called probability p and then just define the result what we want to achieve is that in p dot random dot binomial one comma p so if you don't understand the line, uh, the function of the binomial random dot binomial do, I would recommend you to search it in the internet or if you can, if you find in a book particular for Python program, then you should check it out or I will later make another video on it. So let's proceed and then we will just return the result and here we have done with our coin flip function now set a value for probability and so i in the start i said that the coin is unbiased that means the probability is half that means if we toss a coin 100 times it will we will get 50 in number of um, head and 50 number of tail so probability is half so probability is 0 0.5 and then comes to the number of um, coins or number of trials say how many times we want to toss a coin and here i am defining it as n equal to um, say 100 thousand times and now here comes a tricky part which is I'm defining a full result as in p dot a range n. Uh, what does this function do? This function generates a list of values from 0 to n that means from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 1 and now uh, uh, now the what is the work of this function actually I will take a list uh, I will take a loop and update the values of the full result uh, to see our results so let's do that first now I am taking a for loop for doing this for i in range 0 to n let's take the full result of the i position of the list as coin flip probability now this uh, part the do, what does this that mm, the each time we have the coin flip function with probability 0 0.5 it will generate a value to, of 0 and 1 this is the work of binomial function it will only generate a value of 0 1 0 and 1 and we don't know what it would give for a particular uh, number say for i equal to 1 it may give us 1 and for i equal to 2 it may give us the value 0 so in that case we will mm, count the number of 1 and 0 for 1 for head and 0 for tails and we will just print the result how many numbers of 1 or 0 have in a particular list 
to count the number of heads and tails so uh, let's take for i plus 1 equals to 1 that means it will update the value of i until it reads the value n minus 1 so uh, it will just substitute the values of the list with the new value we generate by this function point flip and that way we can see what the output we get so just take the print of probability we set to which will be just 0 0.5 and then print the tails and heads total number of tails and heads which will be the full result what we get in the full result list and then print the number of heads which will be just in zero count non zero number full result is for value one and then number of tails which would be just in zero count non zero full result for t equals to zero so that's all I think it's right so just run this program that is why mm, yeah you can see there are <laughs> a hundred thousand values so it will just compress that list and for the probability 0 0.5 and for say trial hundred thousand we almost get the 50% result which will give us head and 50% result which will give us tail it is not actually equal to 50% but it is nearly equal to 50% which is which is very good I think it is just a minute difference from 50,000 so that is I think enough for today and if you do not understand anything just let me know in the comment box and please subscribe to this channel for more videos in future and that's for it today so thank you for watching this video take care goodbye